What's up, y'all? You're listening to the Eagles post game wrap. I'm Alex Miller, joined always by Robert Cessna. Texas AM comes away with a 52 to 10 win over McNeese State today. Cease, everybody wanted to know how is Connor Wegman going to perform? Look, the numbers say he did all right 11 of 14, only 125 yards, but he didn't even play a full half of football. Look, McNeese was a bad team. How much can you glean from what Wegman actually did today, knowing what the competition was? Only thing I gained is he did throw the ball well today. But when, like you, when I look back over it, his longest completion was 20 yards. So I was kind of surprised they didn't go more downfield, but they didn't have to. The guys were open. So once again, is his feet, he didn't seem to have happy feet. So I think his mechanics were much better. Uh, maybe he could have had one more completion. So all in all, he looked his old self, but he was playing a bad team. Like you, know, you, said. you know, in the in the in the couple years past, you know, you look at what AM did against Sam Houston, you look what they did against Abilene Christian last year. This was AM's annual FCS team. Mm -hmm. AM did they, they they beat a team that of FCS caliber like you would expect a power five team to kind of do. You know, did it did it feel different in that way of you know, it wasn't like AM was kind of slogging its way through to the end against a team they had no business doing that against? Yeah, what I find interesting is I like the way AM what scored on five straight possessions or five of five or six of six possessions. But I thought what was real funny is then when you look at the, when the backups came in, uh, McNeese was able to have two sustained drives. And I go, well, is that good or bad? Well, the good thing is AM put their backups in. So the bad thing is a lot of times they weren't able to put their back ends backups in that quick so once again is do you want to be nitpicking do i have a little bit of a thing in back of my tooth that you can't see so yeah they, they won by 42 points come on well you know one thing the defense was talking about they wanted to do better was get turnovers they got a couple of those on a tip tip ball or two you know not not super consequential when you think about it uh but you know how 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 good is it for AM to to get some of those things going as they move into games like florida and arkansas and even missouri here in the next few weeks what i liked about their two interceptions those are plays they normally find a way in the pass to drop because they're tipped or whatever and they're not what i call clean like pick six types but those are balls that slipped out of their fingers. I really like that Will Lee guy. I mean, you know, it's like he, the fact that he got an interception didn't, didn't surprise me. And then nice pressure by by the end, the transfer end or the guy inside, uh, I forget his name. Shields. Now. Yeah, and another, the, other, the other pressure, both pressure by, by uh, transfer guys, but they're able to get interceptions. The bottom line is, you're right, turnovers. Two turnovers over zero, turn it into 10 points. It, it, you got to get those balls before they hit the ground when you're up in the air like that. So I had a chuckle. I thought that was pretty good that AM got those. You wrote your column on AM's offensive line. What have you seen from that unit in the first two games and then particularly today? What, I, what I'm impressed is even sometimes they get like three yards or two yards, but they're they're move, either they're moving the pile sometimes or sometimes they're moving their legs. I'm really impressed with how Daniels and Moss fight for extra yardage. I'm not ready to jump on the uh, all, they're in great shape because of the of conditioning and all that, but the facts being facts is, in the last two weeks really, the running backs have been caught behind the line like I think twice. And once those gets Notre Dame, and you can say, well, Sussman, they're playing a really bad team, but yeah, you always have somebody blitzing, you have a bad handoff, you have a bad, so I gotta give the, the offensive line a lot of credit, 333 yards, and only one negative play. That was a one yard sack by Wegman. We almost got back to line of scrimmage. Yep. You know. Well, Cease, our readers can go view your grades online here in a little bit, but what what did you grade Adam's overall performance or what will you think you'll be grading Adam's overall performance? You gotta say they're gonna, what, what wouldn't they get a name? I mean, I mean, you know, when you look at it, maybe as I'm breaking it down as I'm gonna wait an hour, I actually thought the defense should have done better. So do I give them an A minus or B plus? I gotta impute some things because even though the backups win, they allowed two long drives really and couldn't get a stop. 
So yeah, I want to be a little nitpicky. I'm real tough to give all A's. I don't like to give any F's or whatever. So maybe, and the defense has two turnovers, and you're going to say, come on, Cessna, how could you give them? So when it's all said and done, hey, I was a C student, so I like to give upper grades when I can. So it'll probably be A across the board. Who gets A minus? So let's put it that way. Fair enough. Well, hey, we'll close with this. AM obviously opening SEC play with Florida next weekend. How ready do you think AM is for the conference slate? Well, look around the country uh, what happens. No one's really ready. You want to have four more quarters if you can. AM's only had four good quarters against a good team, so to speak. I mean, good quarters of play, not necessarily the best of play. So they're really going in on tested on the road. I'm looking forward to it because I think I'm going to know more about AM next week than I did last week against Notre Dame. Well, hey, be sure to check the Eagle.com for all of our coverage from today's game, and uh, we'll be back next time.